1964 Lincoln sent from Special Mint Set. Widely known as SMS sent among professional collectors. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez from Grading Service, there are many different theories on why the 1964 SMS coins were produced. These coins could have been produced as prototypes for the 1965 to 1967 SMS coins. The 1964 SMS coins could have also been produced as introductory pieces, possibly even intended to include a 1,964 D piece dollar. Furthermore, it is believed these SMS coins came into existence somehow through the involvement of Eva Adams, U.S. Mint director at the time. After Eva Adams passed away, her estate was sold off and well-recognized dealer and auctioneer Lester Merkin purchased many of the coins from her estate. Lester Merkin's collection was then sold in a stacks auction in the early 1990s, including some, if not all, of the known 1964 SMS coins. This MS-66 red specimen with satin finish was sold for $7,187.50. Number 6. Attractively toned 1963 Franklin half dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 plus by PCGS. A registry grade example of this final year Denver issue, showing vivid sun orange, amber, violet, and ocean blue toning over each side. The strike is sharp and original, frosty luster dazzles the eye. Reverse side comes with full bell lines. It ended up selling for $7,200. Number 5. 1979's Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on a cent planchet. Graded as MS64 read by PCGS. Both sides of this spectacular error show satiny light orange luster, with splashes of deeper orange and gold toning. Some design definition is indistinct, due to the thinness of the cent planchet. It was sold for $7,475. Number 4. 1972D Eisenhower dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Lovely ice blue toning is accentuated by hints of champagne on each side of this superb gem registry coin, while a thin sliver of rainbow color appears along the lower reverse rim. The strike is lacking sharpness on the eagle and the finer hair details of the obverse portrait, with a few faint roller lines, as struck, evident in its place. It was sold for $7,931.25. Number 3. 1962 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, this is an incredible looking 1962 D. Quarter with different toning palettes on each side. The obverse features emerald green, fire red, sunset orange, and pale gold, while the reverse exhibits pale orange and mint green near the periphery with a considerable area of untoned silver white remaining. The obverse appears completely free of mentionable contact, while the reverse shows three marks in the lower tail feathers and the wreath below. It was sold for $7,637.50. Number 2. 1963 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Exquisite toning is the hallmark of this beautiful superb gem. Waves of lime green, crimson, magenta and green-gray flow across each side as splendid full luster illuminates the rainbow of colors. Lustrous and beautiful with a bold strike. Only minor contact on the right obverse field precludes perfection. It was sold for $16,100. Number 1. 1964 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over D. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. This cherry picker's variety shows the mint mark repunched south. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for daily updates on numismatic content. In addition, you'll gain access to a wealth of informative videos, showcasing rare coins, historical insights, and valuable tips to enhance your numismatic knowledge. Have a good day.